In this video, I'm going to talk about nominal and effective interest rates. I'm going to show concepts, examples, and code in MATLAB. An interest rate is called nominal if the frequency of compounding periods is not identical to the time unit, which is usually a year. It is calculated with this formula. I is the nominal interest rate. P is the initial investment. T is the final or future value. N is the number of compounding periods per year. And Y is the number of years. This is an example. Let's say that Megan invests $1,542 in a savings account. Three and a half years later, her investments amounts to $1,743. If the interest is compounded monthly, what is the nominal interest rate offered by that particular bank? So we know that P, the initial investment, is $1,542. The final value is 1743. The number of compounding periods per year is 12. The number of years is 3.5. Just substitute into the formula and do the math. You get 3.505%. In MATLAB, we can define a simple function like this. We give it a name, in this case it's nominal. We have the four input parameters. We assign an output variable, in this case it is IT. This line shows the codification of the formula given before. Use parentheses when needed. And then you can call it from another function or from your main window, for example, like this. You have the principal, the final value, the number of years, the number of compounding periods per year, and you call the function just with the parameters and the, the name of the function and the output variable. When you run the function, you get this on the command window. You enter the principal, the final value, the number of years, the number of compounding periods per year, and the nominal interest rate is given by the function, in this case 3.51%. Now, the effective interest rate is the rate on a financial product restated from the nominal interest rate as an interest rate with annual compound interest payable in arrears. It is calculated with this formula. P is again the initial investment. T is the final value. And Y is the number of years. You can see that if the number of compounding periods per year n is 1, both the nominal and the effective interest rate formulas are the same. The main advantage of knowing the difference between nominal and effective rates is that it allows people to make better decisions about their loans or investments. A loan or investment with frequent compounding periods will be more expensive or profitable than one that compounds annually. We are going to calculate the effective interest rate. We are going to continue with the same example. We already know that P is 1542. The final value is 1743. The number of years is 3.5. Just substitute into the appropriate formula 
and now you get 3.56%. Notice that you now didn't need the number of compounding periods. In MATLAB, we can define another function. In this case, we'll call it effective with three input parameters. This line shows the codification of the given formula. And then you can call it from another file or from your main window, for example, like this. This is what you get on your command window when you run the function. Thank you for watching.